Hello to Gemini. Hello, Geminis. This is your year end reading. So, what I'm doing is I'm doing a full card spread for you guys for the new year, and then a 12 card spread for each month for the new year of 2014. Okay, we're all on the same page. All right, here we go. So remember to watch your rising sign, which is your birth sign. I'm oh, not your rising sign, but your sun sign, which is your birth sign, then your rising sign, and your north node. So if you know that, then here we go. Okay, so we cut it in half, and then here we are. The eleventh card, and then the three, these are the three cards of what you need to do right now. So we have the cards here. This is the 10th card. Usually the 10th card is the last card. But I'm making the 12th card the pretty much last card. And then the three cards of what you can do right now. So let's see where things are right now for Gemini. Gemini, you have the Knight of Staves. So you know you know that you have to pretty much defend or just <clears throat> excuse me stand your ground and just be ready for what is coming ahead okay and then you have the four of staves which is even though you have to have a serious mind and be focused you still there's still of that fun side of you that wants to come out and just celebrate and have a good time. So it's really uh, finding the balance of, of the serious side and the fun side that you want to have. So it's really balancing, you know, your, 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 your twin energy to get yourself focused. And that's going to be what's good for you for the new year. Okay. What's at your feet right now? You have the king of swords and this is you being uh, at your very best the sword is the air element and you're really just at at your at your root chakra at your your foundation your structure is is you really taking power of your situation and really feeling good about your situation and being in control okay this is the best the best thing that you can do for yourself okay what's at your mind right now is the hermit oh the hermit card first time the hermit card is coming out and I've done two videos before so we have the hermit card and at the mind is you truly being knowledgeable of yourself and and the things that you're going to embark on so really gathering information Okay, this will be this will be your strength is gathering information. The past was you um, maybe allowing circumstances to kind of pin you down, hold you down. You have the woman surrounded by swords, and she has a choker on with a chain, and it's and she's blindfolded, and I think her hand is at her head. Her hands are up and it's at her head, and and there's a tower behind her and it's just saying that we are the only ones really um, holding ourselves trapped or feeling trapped or feeling um, sad about things in the past that was the past and you are the one that can free yourself from that and the future woo, we have another king we have a king of staves and staves is that fire energy so it's saying you are a true leader, wisdom, 
let that guide you forward and you already have the hermit here and then you have the king of staves and it's like all this knowledge all this wisdom strength and leadership to just pull you through and guide you through the seventh card is how others view you and you have justice so maybe they view, view you as a person that is like okay this is right and this is wrong and that's that's just a good way to be uh, and also this is a, a true a true power card and in this picture the scales is not balanced there's a sword drawn so it's in full full defense it recognizes what is not right and people know that you at your core is about what is right and what is fair okay and that's how you view yourself okay you view yourself as seven so this is seven is how you view yourself and you you like things to be fair and that's how you view yourself the eighth card position is how others view you so no matter if things are are going chaotic you have the two of coins and I love this card it's so beautiful I love the blues in it I love the color and you can see the ocean is chaotic and there's two little ships there and the paddles are like they're just knocked off the little little boats and even though it's chaotic in the background she's smiling and she has that that Trinity uh, not Trinity but uh, infinity uh, with the the coins at the center and she's just balancing things out so other people will see you as no matter how things are going rough in your life you can still land on your feet like a cat and you just remain calm and even if things are chaotic people don't really even know the full story of everything because you you don't you won't really reveal it and sometimes it's just like why bother and so other people might not even know what you're going through but you are going through something rough but you put the best out and you move forward and you you work it out so we have the ninth position which is your hopes and your fears so you have the queen of swords so at the core of this is sometimes you might be afraid of change you you know what you need to do as far as seeking information so you might sometimes be afraid to even take the right steps that you know to take but in in the fear part because the queen of swords it's it's like a, a transformation new beginning strength knowledge power it's a woman just sitting comfortable on her throne with her sword the books are at her feet there's a beautiful blue butterfly right there and there's a a symbol of a lion on the wall right there and she's just chilled she has her power but she's chilling so what I would say for the, the hopes and fears is the the opposite the, the opposite of which is what I started with would be your fear maybe afraid of transformation afraid of your own power you know maybe afraid of the knowledge that you know you have and not want to flaunt it so really just being confident and don't let all the good that you feel about a particular thing overshadow with the fear okay the tenth card is the final outcome and it's upside down so maybe right now is not the great time to play as you see with this card the kids are all playing and being you know being kids and just playing around so maybe not going half stepping with things that you know you need to do a full step forward and give 100% to it okay the 11th card is a bigger message and it's the 10 of coins and what this is saying is that all your hard work will pay off you'll be like this guy sitting in his castle chilling with his cat <laughs> and his 10 coins on the wall next to his is a uh, tapestry so it's it's all the hard work will pay off is what it's saying for you wonderful Gemini's out there and then I have three cards I pull extra for Gemini's oh my goodness so these are the three things that you need to do right now that will benefit you uh, in the long run so this is very good I like this 
this is the strength card. So the strength card is saying, have faith in yourself, but but take action and be brave, be bold, you know, do what it is that you need to do. The Seven of Cups is saying, maybe not really look too far ahead of what you want, just focus on now, because this guy's looking in the mirror, not the mirror, a painting of all of his wants and needs, okay? So he's looking at his wants and needs. So don't really look at the, you know, you can look at the big picture once, but don't like hold that image. Sometimes it's overbearing just to hold one, you know, a powerful image in your mind. Just know what it is that you're going for and just move forward. The Six of Cups shows a mother protecting her children from the, the roughness of the world. Okay, and then you have a dragon in the background and you have the Three Cups floating and there's a statue of a mother protecting her three children, which I think is just so beautiful. So what this is saying is, it, it's lovely. It's, it's reminding you of your essence as a child, how children are innocent and your mind is innocent and you can just, you know, at, the, at, at its core, at its best, it's just fresh, it's just new. And it's, you're looking at the world through the eyes of a child who would see it and children are just wonderful they they're loving and and they're not um poisoned by the world um on so many levels so what this is really saying is moving forward with like a childlike mind and just being happy and it's just a natural happy it's not receiving or anything it's just it is so just move forward and and just do it from a pure state of, of mind, whatever it is that you uh, wish to do. All right. So that is the reading for you guys. So hold tight while I just put the box there. This is the, the box for my uh, tarot deck. So I'm reading with the Lily Sky tarot deck for the first time with the videos. I'm so excited. So that's the card. And on the back, and, and also on the website, but on the back, it will show you where to get the guide booklet for free. You can download it now. I'm going to be adding to it because in the process of making the cards, I'll do a video on that later. But um, yeah, we weren't sure what we'd do with it, but we were like, you know what? Make it a download. We're in the technology era. Make it a downloadable one. Why not? So this is a downloadable one. So right now we're going to do your year reading. Okay, so let's do your year reading, and let me shuffle these cards. I'll shuffle them this way. I'll shuffle them this way. Let's shuffle them like that. Get them all mixed up in there. Do it again. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I remember when I started shuffling like this, it wasn't that hot, but <laughs> as you move along, you can do it. Maybe get yourself something to drink. Come back. We are shuffling away. I might edit this. I might not. I kind of like it, you know, real and live like this. It's fun. One more shuffle so you can go run. If you're like me, I have my favorite YouTube channel. So I, just, I like the videos to be long. <laughs> so this is our intermission. And uh, if I haven't said it before, watch your actual sign, um, rising sign and north node sign. So there's three videos you can watch here if you really want a longer uh, reading, but this is quite long. So here we go. Let's see what we have. So we are going to start off with January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So let me organize this up a little bit so that it's just like that. Okay, so what's going to happen for January? January is all about you focusing on what you have lost more than what you've gained. And this is a beautiful card. I love I love the the five of cups. 
So this is the five of cups, okay, for January. So really it's a reminder of focusing on what you have as the new year comes around. Focus on what you have right now, Gemini. That's January. February is really admiring and really uplifting yourself and your self-esteem with uh, your own personal talents is what the Page of Swords is reminding you to do for February. Wow, you're getting a lot of swords as an air sign. So for March, it is uh, seven of swords. And is he taking them or is he um, taking them to protect them? You know, this card is like, hmm, you know, what is the story behind it? So this is really saying to be proactive in, in things that you are, are going to do in March and just to get, get things done ahead of time if you can. Okay, in April is the Wheel of Fortune. And what April is saying to you is that in life, you know, it's ups and downs, but really focus on the positive things that is happening in your life in, in that month, okay? And April is when spring is coming around. So focus on the positive things because in May, it's a great month. It is a month of receiving. So you're giving and you're receiving. So it is that natural, beautiful, natural flow. Okay. So be grateful for everything that you have and it will just, it'll, more things will come. It's like a, a reading of prosperity. Okay. And then in June, you have eight of swords. So maybe you're feeling um, a little bit tapped out. Maybe you're doing a lot where you're feeling like, whoa, overwhelmed. So, you know, watch out for that in June. And then in July, you have the two of coins. And no matter if things are still going chaotic from the last month, from June, you still have that balancing energy, that, that, that Gemini twin power where you are just in full energy, full motion of balancing things out, making the best of your situation in July. And then for August, you have 10 of cups. August, woo, it's family time. August is truly family time. It is building time. Maybe new things are gonna come, new contracts, agreements. Um, it's family working together, playing, having a good time. So it's a mixture of both. Family get together in August. And I'm loving this because it's ringing true for me. So families coming together in August, this is great. And um, a celebrating time, a fun time. So look out for that. Okay, so maybe keep August open for you know new possibilities in August. Uh, September, you have the Knight of Cups. And I'm just having a strong feeling of, of giving, of honor, of recognizing um, your greatness and just um, recognizing um, the true true power and um, true courage and your skill and what you can um, uh, uh, share with others. I'm just feeling that it's a sharing uh, kind of energy and um, it's a healing kind of energy, okay? A, a giving wisdom, giving healing. Um, it's a great time in September, okay? October is the page of stays and this is like starting something new. So. Uh, for for October, something new will will, will uh, start, and it'll be an, an easy process. Not so easy. I don't like to use the word easy, but it'll be a flowing process. Something that will be will be excellent for you. November, you have the Knight of Coins. So you've so far have uh, two knights so far. Yes, yes. So you have the 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 night the night of coins and November is new ideas popping in at the end of the year for 2015. Wow! So maybe new ideas, a bright idea coming along, and um, um, this is going to be a great way to close out the year for you. Something new happening, and then December you have the moon card. So the moon card is at night, and you can't things aren't what they seem to be. So even though things are going great. Um, maybe not say yes to everything because not everything is as clear as it should be um, with the moon card as a reminder of that. Okay, Geminis, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful new year. And this is my first uh, Gemini reading with my new cards, uh, Lily Sky Tarot, as you can see right here. I'm just going to show them off, kind of do a little spread right here. 
And uh, yeah, definitely uh, order your cards online. And I will see you guys for the next reading. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Have a wonderful new year and enjoy your holidays. Thank you.